Hello everyone. I am Dr. Katha, consultant gynecologist at Indira IVF. And today's video is all about the cost of an IVF procedure. But why do we need to know about it? If a couple visits an IVF center and they are advised to undergo an IVF procedure, the first question that comes to their mind is what would be the cost of the entire process? For example, if you go to purchase a particular product in the market, the same product may have different prices at different locations and may also vary in its make, its appearance and its quality. Similarly, different IVF centers vary in their cost depending on what advanced technologies they are offering to ensure that you have a positive result in the first attempt itself. To understand why this cost varies, it is important to understand or to know uh, the different basic steps uh, in an IVF procedure. So let me break it down for you. An IVF procedure consists of three major steps. First is retrieving the eggs and the sperms outside the body. Second is fertilizing the egg and the sperm in a lab. And third is transferring the resultant embryos into the uterus at a later date. So now let's discuss the cost of it. The first and the most costly component of IVF are the injections that are used for egg formation or as we call it follicular growth. Now these injections are available in two forms. One is the cheaper affordable injections whereas there are also costly injections which can be self-administered and have possibly lesser side effects. Your IVF doctor can decide which ones are going to be better for you and can give you better results. The easily injectable costly injections could cost you anywhere around 90 to 95,000. The next step is fertilizing the egg and the sperm outside the body which happens in a lab. What kind of advanced technologies are used uh, in the lab will determine the cost of the treatment in this step. Depending on how good the lab is or what quality standards they follow in terms of what media they use or whether they perform C or IVF procedure etc. The cost of this step could be anywhere between 30 to 35,000 rupees. There are various other steps after the fertilization happens like culturing or growing the embryos to a certain stage. If certain labs grow the embryo up to second or third day, the cost would be less. But if labs grow them to say fifth day, also called the blastosis stage, which currently most standard labs do, naturally the cost of this step would be more. So growing or culturing embryos up to the blastocyst stage or fifth day could cost you anywhere around 15 to 20,000. Another very important step is freezing the embryos. Freezing them and transferring them into the uterus at a later date does yield good results. In addition to that, the extra embryos if frozen can be used again in future in case of a negative IVF result or if the couple are planning another pregnancy at a later date. Some labs perform slow freezing, whereas some perform fast freezing or vitrification. So the cost of freezing a single embryo would be anywhere around 8 to 10,000. The last step would be transferring the embryos into your uterus. But if a lab uses any advanced technology like LAH or laser assisted hatching to improve your chances of a pregnancy, naturally this would also add to the cost and this would be somewhere around 15 to 20,000. There are other factors also which would add to the cost of the IVF treatment. For example, the medications that are given after transfer for 15 days and they are necessary. These necessary medications could cost you anywhere around 15 to 20,000. Now, most of the points mentioned earlier, like the cost of the injections, performing lab procedures like ICSI, growing the embryos to five days, um, performing laser assisted hatching, freezing the embryos and that of the medication would bring the total cost of the IVF procedure to around 1.8 to 2 lakhs in any advanced IVF center. In addition to that, there are many other factors that add to the cost like that of the center, that of the nursing staff, gynec doctors, anesthetist doctors, embryologists, etc. If there is an IVF center that is offering low cost IVF at around 1 or 1.25 lakhs, Naturally, they are not using all the advanced technologies mentioned earlier or even the costly injections. And a repeat cycle at such a center would cost the same, making it up to a total of 2 lakhs. Different centers have different ways of breaking up the cost of the IVF treatment that they provide. Eventually, all of it adds up to approximately 2 lakhs. Undergoing an IVF procedure is a very stressful uh, situation for any couple. 
what we need to know here is that uh, before you plan to proceed with IVF treatment, some amount of financial planning will definitely be of great help. And it is advisable to arrange for around 2 lakhs rupees before you plan to proceed. Hope this video helps all the couples who are planning to undergo IVF treatment. Thank you for your patient hearing.